on the border between Kenya and Tanzania, approximately 88 miles north of the Olduvai Gorge, one of the oldest locations in the world where stone tools have ever been found. And I've been working with some of the members of the Kamba tribe as well as the Maasai Mara tribe just to learn some of their traditional ways and really get a deeper understanding on how I can take my knowledge, skills, and abilities and move them forward. Oldowan tools come from the Olduvai Gorge. It's essentially where they get their names, Oldowan tools. Now in an Oldowan toolkit, we have a couple different types of tools. We have tools consisting of cores, flakes, choppers, scrapers, hammer stones, and cleavers. The Oldowan industry marked the beginning of our technological revolution. To our knowledge, these artifacts appeared around 2.6 million years ago in the savannah of Eastern Africa. The debate about who exactly the tool makers were can become pretty heated, as no one knows for sure who invented the first stone tools. Paleoanthropologists have to gather clues like a detective to identify the most likely suspects. For this task, they can rely on three lines of evidence. Fossils found alongside the artifacts, zoological studies by observing modern apes, and theories about hominid evolution. Bottom line, the older one tools are simply tools. They were used to process meat, smash open bones, scrape hides, cut plant fibers. They were tools. Whether it was Australopithecus or later on Homo erectus who inherited it, it was a tool kit that was highly used in the eastern portions of Africa about 2.6 million years ago.
It is not known for sure which hominid species created and used Oldowan tools. Its emergence is often associated with the species Australopithecus and its flourishing with early species of Homo, such as Homo habilis and Homo ergaster. Early Homo erectus appears to inherit Oldowan technology and refines it into the Acheulean industry beginning about 1.7 million years ago.